shading armor with a brush can be a chore, but there is a scale modeling technique that makes it much faster and easier. I'm Starly from Tale of Painters and in this video I explain everything you need to know about enamel and all washes. The use of enamel and oil washes is a painting technique that comes from traditional scale modeling and is also popular in the Gampla hobby. The surface tension of enamel and oil washes is much higher than regular acrylic washes, so they flow much easier into the recesses. It is also more convenient to correct imperfections because you can remove dried wash with white spirit. Best of all, it's really easy to learn. Here's what you need. An enamel wash. Tamiya panel line accent color is my favorite, but there are other brands, for example, MIG. You can also use an oil paint of your choice. Mixed with white spirit, it works just the same. Speaking of white spirit, you need some of that too. I'm using this product from AK Interactive. Then you need a gloss varnish to seal the model. I use top coat gloss from Japanese brand Mr. Hobby. There's also a very good gloss varnish spray from Tamiya. You'll also need cotton swabs to clean up and remove excess wash. I use special model making cotton buds with a fine tip from Mr. Hobby. If you don't know where to find all these products, have a look at the video description below. I have linked the products there. So here we go. I have this Primaris Impulsor, which I primed black and highlighted with the Zenithal base coat of Vallejo Mecha Color Dark Steel with my airbrush. Of course, the technique works on any base color or primer. Next, I sealed the model with gloss varnish, which I applied in two to three thin coats. I definitely recommend the spray varnish here, as gloss varnish fired through an airbrush usually doesn't apply thick enough unless you really apply a lot of layers. The gloss varnish is there for two reasons. First, if you were to apply the enamel or oil wash directly, the aggressive alcohol-based wash would soak into the acrylic paint and leave stains that could not be removed later. Second, it improves the paint flow and protects the paint job during cleaning. Now the wash comes into play. Tamiya Panel Line Accent Color is very easy to apply thanks to the brush in the lid. If you use other enamel washes or oil paint diluted with white spirit, you must use a brush, but be careful. The aggressive wash quickly runs into the ferrule and can ruin your brushes. Make sure to clean them thoroughly afterwards. As you can see, the high surface tension together with the smooth gloss varnish does almost all the work for you. Magic. Work your way through the model and let the wash dry for at least 20 minutes. Now you can proceed to clean the model. As you can see, normal cotton buds are far too big and fuzzy, whereas my model making cotton buds have a finer tip. Dip them in white spirit and carefully remove the excess wash. White spirit dissolves acrylic paint, but thanks to the gloss varnish, the base color remains intact as long as you don't rub for too long on a single spot. And that's it. Four minutes up and now you know all about pin washing with enamel and all washes. When you are happy with the result, you can paint the rest of the model and seal everything with matte varnish like I did with my silver skulls and pulsar here. I have painted a tank here, but of course, the technique also works for all kinds of armor. The cleaning just gets a bit more difficult the smaller the miniature is. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. You can also support me on Patreon for exclusive tutorials and resources. Thanks a lot and happy hobbying!